1864, a year before the end of that, a year before Lincoln's assassination, in June of that year, Charles Spurgeon gives a sermon. I want you to hear the words, some of the words from that message. This is what he said. Israel is now blotted out from the map of nations. Her sons are scattered far and wide. Her daughters mourn beside the rivers of the earth. Her sacred song is hushed. No king reigns in Zion, in Jerusalem. She brings forth no governors among her tribes, no leaders. But, he says, but she is to be restored. She is to be restored as from the dead. When her own sons have given up all hope of her, then is God to appear to her. She is to be reorganized. Her scattered bones are to be brought together. There will be a native government again, which there is. There will again be the form of a body politic, a state shall be incorporated. That's exact, the state of Israel. He goes on. Israel had now become alienated from her own land. Her sons, though they can forget, they can, they can never forget the sacred dust of Palestine, yet, yet they die at a hopeless distance from her consecrated shores, but it shall not be so forever. For her son shall again rejoice in her. Her land shall again be called Beulah, married. For as a young man marries a virgin, he's quoting from Isaiah, so shall her sons marry her. I will place you in your own land, is God's promise to them. They shall again walk upon her mountains. They shall once more sit under her vines and rejoice under her fig trees. Now remember, there were no fig trees. There was nothing there. And they are also to be reunited. There shall not be two or ten or twelve, but one Israel praising one God, serving one king, that one king being the son of David, descended Messiah. Uh, not yet, but that's what's coming. Now he goes on. The day shall come when all the high hills shall leap with envy because this is the hill which God has chosen. He's talking about the Temple Mount, which is what this, this last, this crisis is all about. When Zion's shrine, temple, shall again be visited by constant feet of the pilgrim, when her valleys shall echo with songs, they are, and her hilltops shall drop with wine and oil, they are, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations where they are gone, and I will gather them on every side, bring them into their own land, and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. 1864. There had not been a nation there for 2,000 years. Land is wasted. Jews are scattered, as we said. The world calls it Palestine because that's what the Romans called it because they wanted to erase the name of Israel. They wanted to erase the name, so they took the name of the Philistines and called it Palestine, meaning land of the Philistines. And yet he clearly is for, and actually it's under Turkish Islamic rule. They're not giving up anything. Yet it, he is clearly foretelling the future. Future world history, future world news like up to today. The American government had no idea. The, the, later on, the Soviet Union could ha not know the prophecy. The Jewish people didn't know. The Vatican wasn't saying this. But he said there will be a native government. It will be, will be a state. And it will be one Israel in the world. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed. And share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.